Good evening, ride alongs. You know what? I feel like I've been in my aid, like missing in action, but truthfully, I have because I'm just gonna be honest with you. It's been cold out here, like even today, it, it got up to it's probably about 35 now. So I'm actually sitting in my van and I could decide I would come out and try to do a little something. I had to actually fix my van and get it back together, like put my seats all back down. So I'm still working on this bed setup, but I'll show you what I'm doing so far. Um, I have gone to a thrift store and I had gotten. A few things. No, it was actually a Goodwill. Let me see what's on this bag. It was GCF, so that's that's Goodwill. If you can see that. So I went to a Goodwill one day, and I ended up finding. Let me see if I can show you all this without my hand blocking everything. So this was. Um, it looks like maybe just some mats from like a cushion or something. So I got four of these, and they're just long enough so that I just have them right now up under my sleeping bag. Um, and this is a sleeping bag I have. And I have a couple other sleeping bags. I'm not sure how warm this is. This is one I've had for quite some time. But I got another one. And so I'm not going to go out until it is actually um, warm enough for me. I'm just going to have to do me and <clears throat> know when and when I cannot go out. So, and, and at 20-something degrees, I can't go out. It's just I'm just going to put it out like that. So the next thing I'm going to, so I'm still going to work on this. But I also did get my blackout curtains, if you can see those. Um, some I had picked up at a thrift store and that's just a regular shower curtain. So we're getting there. And the next thing I want to do is to get me, um, my reflectors to my windows. So I bought like several of these, one for one, two, three, four, four windows. And so I'm going to actually get, get these cut down. I'm going to use a box cutter and hopefully I can get them fitted to the windows. And then I got the smaller ones for because you know you when you sleep in the van you're gonna have to cut i mean um have a window cracked and so i'm hoping to be able to maybe put this over the window part that's cracked so this is called a a clean shade so hopefully it will make it so critters can't make it so critters can't get into into my to my vehicle when the window is cracked and so Yep, and then, so I went to a thrift store, that same Goodwill I was at, so I found this little cutting board. I got this for like $1.29, and I feel like this would be good for my kitchen. And speaking of my kitchen, I did decide to go ahead and get the single burner stove um, from Walmart. I went and got that. And like I thought, I don't know if it was just the Walmart that I was in that day that was seven, having it for $18, but this was like $15 and something cents, so I'm going to get that together um get my kitchen together so hopefully the very next cool or warm enough day for me when i say warm it's probably got to be at least whew, 50 i'll say 50 at least 50 degrees and so i don't know when they'll put me able being able to get on the road but i, I need to be 50 degrees to, uh, for me to be able to be comfortable and know that i can do it I, when it's 20 and 30 degrees it just I, I just can't do it i'm just gonna be honest and so i'm trying to just think this thing through like how would i be able to van dwell if i can't even camp um yeah yeah we're gonna have to deal with that when the time comes because I, I mean i'm just not gonna set myself up for failure and i'm not gonna get out there knowing it's in the teens or the 20s and having to find my way back home that night so but i am hoping to get on the road very soon to camp um and that's pretty all the updates i have i'm gonna continue to work on the, you know this is a work in progress so i'm gonna continue to work on it um oh one little other thing i did find i found this little thing i thought it was cute it's supposed to be it's, it calls itself it says the it's actually starting to get darker here too. Omelet ease, omelet ease, and so I guess you put the little stuff in there, in there. So your egg and I guess your little fixings, and then you put it on your your heating source, and it's got that same stuff on both sides. So I guess you can turn it when you need to. Which I just thought this was really cute, and this one was about. I know I didn't pay no more than about two dollars for it because I would because I wouldn't have paid two dollars for it. Oh no, it says three, three forty nine. I think it was fifty percent off. I I think it was so. Uh, which would put it less than two dollars because that's probably about all i would have paid for it um so that's that that's all the progress on my van and i'm still working on it but today is actually martin luther king's birthday um and so it is a national holiday so most people are off work today if you have that kind of a job and i'm thankful i have that job and just want to give a little shout out to dr king i was born in 1966 so i never got the opportunity not that it was an opportunity but i never had the experience of having a separate facility blacks and whites have separate facilities 
Although I do say, I, the first thing I remember for me about um, other than my parents, my grandparents watching stuff that was on black and white TV was in going to the third grade. I'm 51. So going, sorry, I got a phone call right in the middle of my conversation. But so I do recall uh, being bused, being, the schools being integrated. And I don't, I didn't know what the word integrated mean. I do, I do know being bused way across town to a different school. But as a child, I just never had the experience. I, I, um, when I got into the fourth grade, I found myself in the middle of, that was third, going to third grade. So we were bust. And I, as a child, I got along with all kids. It was, it was an issue, but I do recall in the fourth grade, there was a gifted math class that all the kids had to take a test to get into. And I ended up being the only black kid in the class. And at the time I didn't understand it. The principal even sent a note home to my mom, tell my mom that, you know, while, although I qualified for the program, um, I might not want to be in it because I won't be in it amongst my peers. Okay, so what he didn't know about my mama was that my mama had me when she was 17, a senior in high school, was determined she was not going to be a statistic. She was not going to be on welfare. She was not going to raise her child like that. And she was also pro-black. And so she was like, oh, who does he think you're talking to? And who does he think I don't know what this, what he's trying to tell me? And basically she went and talked to him and he was like, well, you know, I don't want to be by herself. She's like, well, Carl's not going to do anything different than she normally does. And she'll be happy to be in that program. Do you have any other questions of me? Pretty much he got it. But what I found out in later years when I got to be a senior high school, what he did actually was the score was like a 95 cutoff. He actually raised the score to something like 97, in effect, elim eliminating a couple of my friends, other African-American students who would have gotten into the program. Um, I got like a 99. So if he'd have raised it any higher than that, nobody would have been in the program. So he had no choice but to let me in. But he raised the score to prevent the others from getting in. And also my teacher at the time, um, sponsored me some years later in um, our debutante ball and she said what he also did was double check and triple check behind me when she was checking my work to make sure she wasn't giving me an unfair advantage or trying to cheat for me or what have you and he would always tell her well she's not showing her work and she was like well no none of the other kids because gifted students don't often show their work their thought processes allow them to think like this and put it on paper but anyway I, I did so well in that fourth grade year he allowed my friends to be in it the next year. So that is kind of, I guess, my first experience. And I didn't really actually realize what it was at the time. I do know halfway through that school year, the uh, fourth grade year, he started calling me his prized pupil. And I'm like, I don't even know you like this. You've never spoken to me before. But at any rate, so I'm just glad for Dr. King and others who paved the way so that their their sacrifices is not going to notice to me. But they paved the way so that 20 years later, I had options when it came to going to colleges and doing other things that, you know, they just didn't have an opportunity to. So I want to wish you all a happy Martin Luther King Day and keep camping.